All because of show up. <laughs> I love it. So I love your story because we met Instagram. How did we meet? Um, I saw a video of yours on YouTube. And then I went to, I can't even remember, but I, I think I just went on Patreon. And then it said to contact you. And then I uh, did the little message thing. And then you called me. Um, it was a real short conversation. Um, and then, yeah. And then I went on uh, to do the internship. And were you already certified before? Yep. And so I know a big thing that a lot of people ask about the internship is it's great because you're from Sacramento, right mm -hmm. by my neck of the woods too. Yuba City, right? Uh, Sacramento. Sacramento, okay. Yep. And why do I keep on saying Yuba City? I thought maybe somewhere on your thing it said Yuba City. Nah. No. Just Sac or I said, it actually says Elk Grove because I live on the border. That's what it is, Elk Grove. That's where... Uh, yeah. Okay, nice. And so what are you currently doing? Right now, uh, I'm training... And then um, keep up with my social media. And then I'm also going to uh, school right now, kind of debating between theology and uh, exercise physiology. I don't know um, the exact difference between the two, um, but I, I want to look into both of those. What was the first one you said? Kines kinesiology. And? Uh, exercise physiology. Okay. So what they'll do is they'll just they kind of separate the two. It, it's a kind of under one umbrella, whereas like in yeah. the early 2000s, they used to call it more ex-phys, but now they're using more of the umbrella term kinesiology. They're very similar. But mm. I just think you got a cool story because a lot of students will reach out and they'll be like, you know, I don't see the hands-on portion I think is really awesome, but, you know, I live in New York and I don't see how this would be valuable. So could you talk to everyone about how – it was valuable for you, even though you didn't, you weren't able to get the hands-on portion. Um, I think uh, the programming, learning how to program, and then uh, just just you just you talking, um, makes makes it more comfortable having like a like an instructor. Like just even that was um, beneficial for me. And then uh, you don't, it's not in your like specific. Uh, powerpoints but sometimes you'll like to say yeah you can say this or you can do this and just those little things that you say um help um i don't know how to explain it but I, I just tried to absorb everything that i could um and it was really beneficial and so when you were you got your nasm certification and then obviously it must have something happened where you were thinking like i i don't feel complete yet i need to take that next step so when you got certified, what, were, what was kind of going through your mind? And then what took you to that next step? Um, so when I got certified, I immediately was like, actually during the certification, I was like, this is not how I would train somebody. I know I don't train this way. This is like, that it just doesn't make sense to me. Like, because I, I do work out and I do, I have built my physique and I, like, I would never, ever tell somebody else to train that way. Um, and I knew that there had to be another way. Um, and then I, I knew uh, people like Mike Isratel and, um, and like Eric Helms and, and people like that. And um, so when you would uh, talk about those people, I was like, okay, like there's a dude out there that like is doing like science-based stuff. And that, like I was already familiar with that stuff, which drew me um, – more towards like show it. I don't know if that answered your question. No, it does. It does. And so, how did you originally come across NASA? Um, I have a gym close by over here. It's called the uh, California Family Fitness. I don't know if you've heard the heard of that one. Mm -hmm. Um, but I have a friend who has been a trainer for twenty or so years. And she was saying that she had to get her NASM um, before she started training. And so I was like, okay, like that's, that's the first thing that I should do. So um, I just went and I paid $2,000 to oh, get this little okay. paper. <laughs> <laughs> How much do you, of that $2,000 do you implement right now with your training? Um, 
<laughs> none of it. Like literally none of it. That's tough. That's, but you know, it's, it's something you can reflect back on and a lot of people have done the same thing. I mean, you're, you're, you're lucky you didn't do one of the bigger ones, but there's, there's even one that's like 3000 plus. Oh man. Yeah. So, I mean, what are, what are some of the things that you're looking into next? If, maybe if you don't go to school. Um, I think that I want to, I just want to keep training and keep learning from other people. Um, there's a sports therapist around my area that I want to somehow work with. I don't know what I'm going to do, but I, I want to learn more. Um, uh, Have you reached out to him? Do you know him at all? Or? No, I don't really know him at all. I just know that uh, he knows way more than I do, and I'd like to learn. Okay. Have you, so, I mean, are they open right now? Yeah, yeah. Uh, it's always just a good way to reach out, even if it's via email. You can call and just let them know, tell them your quick little story and say, I'm looking to gain as much experience as possible right now. Would there be an opportunity for me to maybe come in one day for a half hour and should I just always keep it like nice and low because they're, they're always overwhelmed with stuff. And you say, if I come in for like a half hour, an hour, just kind of observe what you're doing because I'm thinking about maybe potentially going to PT school, even though you may not, but you just put it out there. A lot of times they're pretty open. And then the day of when you go over there, if they have a secretary, call the secretary, find out what type of coffee they like, bring them some coffee, maybe bring them some donuts, ask some good questions, say thank you, try to set up a connection. A lot of times they're really cool and they'll just, they're going to be there to help you answer any questions and then follow up, you know, send them a thank you card. And you know, that's just how you really get your foot in the door. One of our students in Las Vegas did the same thing. You send them a thank you card and you just, being appreciative is really huge because there's a lot of people out there that don't, that they don't give a shit. And, you know, they just go Actually. in and ask a lot of questions are kind of annoying and you can even preface like, you know, I'll come in there and I'll, you know, I'll fold towels for you. I'll clean one up. It's like, you just put it out there. So it's like, Oh, this person's genuine. You know, they don't get other people asking like that. Yeah. But those are great. Okay. We're, we're shadowing that. And you know, we're, we're still working on COVID. It's kind of tough right now, but we're working on having some weekend courses. Maybe sometime you can come on down here and check those yeah, out. Yeah, for sure. No, it's always I'm, I do want to come down. Yeah. Do you get down to Southern California much? I don't. Um, but I'm, I'm trying to, I'm actually trying to save up to maybe like come down there for a weekend or, or something like that. Mm -hmm. Just got to get all my, get all my stuff in order. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. That's great, though. I just love stories like this because without social media slash technology, we would have never met. We still haven't technically met, but, you know, you right. were able to partake in class and you were always very sharp. And it's cool to see people from that original message that I sent you when I asked you about doing you're like, no, I'm good now. I got that. But <laughs> at the time when you were going through, it, you probably had a lot of questions on how to do this. But when you're able to go through a program and ask questions to someone and, you know, I know that you'd send me personal messages on the one off and how's this program and the more that you yeah, yeah. The more you can put into it. So, you know, I know that you're you're busy training people, but I appreciate you taking time today to chat with us real quickly. And for those that are interested in becoming a trainer, we have an online aspect, and Jazz was one of those. And just keep on learning. And if you have got your NASA cert, nothing wrong with it. It's your piece of paper into the gym, or if maybe validation for you, whatever. But it's not an end all be all. You got to keep on learning, and your journey's just beginning. So that's really exciting.